A honeypot is a security tool that allows you to attract hackers and people trying to use their scripts and vulnerabilities on your network using the sweet smell of honey, or at least a digital version of it. It's a system that appears to be open, or at least to have the door cracked just a little bit to entice the bad guys to come in and try to hack around and understand what's going on. But of course, it's a controlled environment that you get to see and you get to watch what the bad guys are doing. It's a great way to gather information on the types of techniques they're using to get into your network. It also allows you to prevent them from going anywhere else in your organization. These days, there's no human being that's manually sitting at a keyboard and trying different techniques to try to get through your firewall or try to get to your email server. It's almost always an automated process. It's a series of scripts. It's a series of applications and programs that are methodically going through hundreds or maybe even thousands of different techniques to try to get into your servers. And if you have a honeypot set up, you can see exactly what they're trying. You can see the techniques they go through and understand exactly what they're stepping through to try to break into your systems. You can have honeypots that are set up as single-use traps. They are there just for the moment. You've built them out for a very specific purpose. You can also set up a honey net, which is an entire series of honeypots that may be on one network or maybe extending between different networks that allows you to begin consolidating information together. You can start to see patterns and understand if the traffic coming in is coming from one type of person or maybe multiple sources based on the traffic patterns that you happen to see. If you want to see what the power of a distributed series of honeypots can do across the entire internet, then you'll want to visit this website at projecthoneypot.org, where people are taking all of the information they're gathering from their honeypots, and they're all bringing it back to one central location so that everybody can learn from exactly what's going on over the internet. At the Project Honeypot website, they encourage you to also participate. By having everybody here, you can also find things. For instance, they've identified over 93 million spam servers across the internet, and they know of 20 million plus different dictionary attackers who are trying to gain access into your network. The Project Honeypot website can also provide you with details down to the IP address. So you can see exactly what IP addresses you have out there that are suspicious IPs. You can see the ones that are suspicious in your country. You can get a breakdown of the ones that are in your state that are most suspicious. We can even break this down by, for instance, spammers. So let's choose the spammers option and see who's out there. We might want to use this IP address information to determine, is this something I can put inside of my firewall to prevent people from spamming? Can I use these lists to identify what I'm seeing in a log? This might provide you with a wealth of information that shows you a specific IP address. It tells you the event that's gone on. It gives you an idea of how much. You can see the total number of events associated with this. And I can even sort through these just for Florida. And I can see the first and the last events associated with these IP address. There's a lot of information here. And then if I'm trying to decipher what I'm seeing on my own personal honeypot or trying to understand some traffic that I see inbound from the internet, this may be a great source to go to to cross-reference that information.